Right, let's have a look at part D then. So it says, when the filled bucket reaches the ground, the rope becomes slack in the subsequent motion. Uh, the empty bucket does not reach the pulley. Find out how much further it travels up. So you imagine, so there's your pulley. That one's dropped 10 metres and it slams into the ground. And the other one is still moving up. And then at some point it just stops. So at this point, the point when it's kind of just moving up, it's as if the string has been cut and it's not there. So it's, it's like a free fall thing. It's like a projectile being fired up. Now the initial speed of the bucket on the left is the same as the speed when it hits the ground. So... What does it ask us to do then? Right, so I want to work out its, its distance. So you, so this is going to be my speed that it hit the ground at. So that's 9.17. Both are moving together. The, the, the fill bucket hits the ground at the same speed as the other bucket is going up. And that's a 9.17. Now then, how much higher does it go? So it gets to a point where it stops. So V is zero. Now, because my string is slack, it's just acceleration due to gravity. So that's 9.81, but it's fighting gravity. And T, I'm not bothered about. So I want the one without T. So it's V squared equals U squared plus 2 AS. I'll probably go through this again in the board. So naught squared is 9.17 squared plus 2 times minus 9.81 times by s. So if you do some bit of rearranging, so we can take that onto the other side. So that's 19.62 s is, uh, where did he get that from? 2943 over 35. <laughs> Must be the 9.17 squared. But if I divide through by 19.62, it gets me roughly 4.29 meters. So it travels an extra 4.29 metres above. But it doesn't hit the pulley, so the pulley must be above 14.29 metres. So then the next bit talks about the force exerted on the pulley. Uh, so this is part E. But like I said, this has never really come up. So it's like, well, I haven't said it, so it's on A2 when I recorded this morning, actually. Imagine I get a scarf and I chuck a scarf around your neck and pull you towards me. So then tensions are the same. So the force on that pulley like that, because I've got my two hands pulling at the same speed, same distances. So the force on the pulley will be 2t. Two 2t. Two two. So it did, it did help knowing that that was 28.02, which I've given us later on. So 2t is 56.0 newtons, and that's the force exerted on the pulley. Um, there's a question for you on the next page. With loads of bits of info. So I'll try and show you that. I like these, they're really nice. Come on, I'll delete. Uh, so the person who did this kind of did proper sim like simultaneous and worked it all out, whereas I would have just, which is what you will do now, is just rearrange it. So you'd have like a T plus 7A is 7 lots of G. And then with this one, uh, what will that be? Uh, T plus, should be a difference in sign there. T minus 3A. It's 3G. Uh, you just solve it simultaneously, straight away on your phone, on your calculator. If you don't, go with it. Right, I'm going to get going. There's another example. There's another few examples, actually. But a nice example.